what is human? Well, humans, we humans are biological organisms. We are specific products of this specific biosphere. We are fragile, vulnerable, mortal, finite beings. And because of all this, we have a whole lot of what we call survival emotions. Fear, love, territoriality, competitiveness, aggressiveness, jealousy. How can any one of us really ever have a nice personality? It's remarkable that in fact we are as nice as we are. So long as we live in these fragile biological bodies, so long as we are confined to this planet, survival emotions will dominate everything. But you know, something startlingly new, potentially full of hope, is unfolding here in the second half of the 20th century. To be sure, we are at the very, very beginning of this evolutionary turning point. We can no longer consider ourselves exclusively human. The biological and terrestrial premises that have always defined the human no longer fully apply. We are Earth-specific organisms, aren't we? But we're no longer here on this planet only. No biological fundamentalism, no coalition of anti-future filibuster can any longer sabotage this evolutionary stampede. shift from animal human to post human is accelerating faster and faster and faster the point is that we are learning to replace organic parts we may have attempted this 50 years ago or 100 years ago but never never as determinedly as we are doing today where you have millions and millions of people walking with parts other than their original why not take this a step farther why not begin thinking of creating new bodies, backup bodies? Bit by bit we are gaining access to our chromosomes, and genes, bit by bit we are downloading information from organic brains to synthetic brains, from synthetic brains to organic brains. Bit by bit, we are de-animalizing our bodies. We who have the genius and the daring to do all this can surely now mobilize to do very nearly anything. We ought to want to stop being shoved around by the forces of nature. I have no free will. I'm at the mercy of hormones and my genes and biochemistry of my brain and a whole lot of our influences over which I have nothing to say. We can never again, never again be content with human rights, with political equality. We want a hands-on involvement in choreographing our genetic makeup. So long as we are confined to these fragile biological makeup, there will always be inequality and human tragedy and human suffering. We want the right and the freedom to be around a hundred years from now, a thousand years, a million years, the most dramatic and the most urgent and the most universal need of all, so long as there is death, no one is free. <laughs> How ready are you?